Hello dears, I am Jia Soni and I am Mathematics faculty in Sahel Study Circle. I am taking Mathematics for IIT since last 8 years. Content which is provided to you in this crash course is created by most experienced faculties of Sahel Study Circle with association of simplylearned.com. Our effort is to create shortcut techniques and methods by which you can solve the complex problems of mathematics in a minute or lesser than that. This content is fully targeted and object oriented. It is a genuine effort to enhance your output in competitive examinations. I am going to tell you the technique to find out rank of word in a dictionary which is the problem of permutations and combination. This kind of questions are being asked in all the types of examinations like IIT, AIEEE, DC, IP or all the other state examinations. Suppose you want to find out the rank of the word WHO. Then you have to arrange this one into all the possible manners. And those possible manners are 3 factorial. That is 6. Okay. And I just write them down in this possible manner in a dictionary. First one is HOW, then HWO then all these are possible manners. The rank of this particular word is fifth because it is placed at the fifth place. So its rank is fifth. So that is the rank of the word. But if your word is a bit longer like it is N U M B E R now in how many possible manners are there in which we can arrange this that is 6 factorial and 6 factorial is equal to 720. Now it is not possible for us to find out the rank of this word by enumerating all the possible arrangements. Then how it is possible? You just understand that I am just giving you the technique by which you can find out the rank within a step. You just see how. What we have to do, first we have to arrange them in alphabetical order. That alphabetical order is B, E, M, N, R, U. Okay, dears? Okay, and now you have already learned few of the methods to find out the rank in your 11th class or 12th class. But, I'll tell you the technique by which you can find out the answer within one or two steps. How? How many letters are there? There are 6 letters. So we have to start with 1 less that is 5 factorial, then 4 factorial, then 3 factorial, then 2 factorial, then 1 factorial and at the end you have to add 1. That 1 is added for the place value. Got this? Now, you just say this. What is the process right now? We have to start the process. You just see this first letter that is n so how many letters are there before n this is one two three so we have to multiply three over here and we have to cancel out the n okay now you just see the second letter second letter is u second letter is u okay how many letters are there before u which are not cancelled that is one two three and four so we have to put here four and after putting area 4, we can cancel out U also. Then in the next step, you just see how many letters are there before M. You just see that before M, there are only two letters, that is B and E. So you have to put 2 over here and cancel out M also. In the similar manner, how many letters are there before B? It's nothing, so we have to put 0 over here and B is also cancelled out. Similarly, before E there is no word, so we have to put 0 and E is also cancelled out. Our whole process is completed. We have to just find out the answer and this will be 360, this will be 96, this will be 12. Total it will be 468 
and your rank will be 469 so I think it is the easiest method to find out the rank of a word otherwise it will take at least half of the page or one of the page to find out the rank now one of the question which is being asked in your ID examinations two years back was coaching this is c-o-c-h-i-n now you can find out the rank of this word with that technique by, by which you already find out one of the rank what is that method you just understand that how many letters are there the number of letters are again six so first we have to arrange them in alphabetical order this is c c h i n o okay again we have to start with five factorial four factorial three factorial two factorial and one factorial and plus one okay now how many letters are there before c there is no letter before c so we have to put zero over here and cancel out c also then how many letters are there before o these are four letters which are not cancelled out because we have to neglect the word which is cancelled out so there are four letters before o so i have to put four over here and zero is again cancelled out next see how many letters are there before c which are not cancelled out it is zero so you have to put zero over here and c is again cancelled out how many letters are there before h which are not cancelled out it is zero again so in this manner you can find out the rank and it will be 96 plus 1 that will be 97 i think you will be benefited by this technique which i have told you and this kind of questions are already being asked in your IIT or IIT please so you can easily find out the rank within 30 or 40 seconds got this tears okay